So I think I'm at the place now where I can put in the background for this, um, at least loosely, just so um, I can kind of see where all the tones are going to settle here in the next step. That was my cat stepping on one of my son's toys. I don't know if you heard that, but anyway. So I am just using completely clear water here. And um, I think the best way to handle this background is approach it like um, as if it was different paintings so this area will be a painting this area will be a painting so on and so forth and um, I want to get this area all wet and I'm going to use a wet and wet technique just to keep the background nice and loose so I'm just very carefully painting with water right now just to Get everything wet where I'm going to paint next. Alright, and then the fun part, the paint. La, 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 la. Yeah, I probably should stick to painting and not singing. So, yeah. Alright, so that was um, light green. And this is a um, dark blue um, and you see how I left a couple little dry places um, that kind of makes for some interesting texture and there is a light place on this horse's face so I want the background to be nice and dark against the light that's is the horse's face. See, this is light and I want this nice and dark and I might have to come in and do a couple more layers. That's fine. And just carefully paint around his mane. Now I did mask some of his mane out. So I don't have to be too careful there, but um, I do want to keep the highlight on the ears. So um, one thing when you're working with green, a good little trick that I learned is add red. Uh, unless you really want it bright, bright green, but that rarely looks good. Um, green is considered by many artists to be the hardest color to work with. Um, and one way to make it easier is to kind of dull it down with some red. Okay, and then I'm just going to keep going around this mane. Now I didn't uh, paint any of this um, with water, but I'm just going to use that as an opportunity to get some mane texture going, as in the mane of the horse. For those of you who don't know the equestrian terms. I used to be a horse freak. I'm still a horse freak, so anyway. Um, I got this picture from a horse show I went to. Uh, this is a Frisian horse and they used to be used in battle and I used to kind of work a little bit in the horse industry I guess you could say and um, it's interesting that um, die-hard horse people um, are not that crazy about Frisians because although they may be beautiful they're not always the strongest horse and um, for example I've seen this myself with Frisians they need air conditioning like literally the Frisians that I knew, know here in South Carolina had to have air conditioning in their stalls <laughs> so um, but you know what they really are gorgeous and they're very sweet horses it is interesting how the different breeds have different personalities 
And I can say that all the Frisians I've met are very sweet. I actually like how this area came out. Um, even though I didn't wet the background. Um, I don't know, I kind of like how it came out. You know, this guy's got a wild mane. And I'm just gonna keep dipping my brush in different colors because I want to make sure this area is not static. And it can get really static if you use just one color. Um, of course, you don't want mud, so you want to make sure those colors work well together. And I'm just using a bunch of different greens and mixing some red into the greens that I'm using straight out of the tube. Now this is getting to be dry. It's at a good stage where if you tap some water into it, it might do some blossoming. I don't know. We'll see if I caught it at the right time. It's one thing I like about watercolor. You just, you're never sure exactly what it's going to do. Um, the painting is never completely yours to control. Um, as far as how I paint anyway. And I kind of like that. I like an element of surprise of like, oh, where's this painting going to take me? Um, maybe that just goes with my personality. I'm not exactly much of a planner, more of a spontaneous type. Much to my husband's chagrin sometimes. <laughs> But I really like that background. What do you guys think? I kind of like it. Now I'm going to go ahead and keep going, I think. On this vein, I'm going to paint around the fence in the background here and just go doop, 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 doop. And it goes. And now we have a fence. All right. This is like a little tree trunk here. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll put some burnt sand in this green. There we go. That'll kind of trunk it up a little, huh? And some ground. And some more green for some grass right here. Also to give some definition to his back. All right, I kind of like that. I like how, even though this is a dark horse, he looks light against this dark background. That's pretty, it's kind of fun. I mean, I didn't really plan that. I probably should have if I was a more appropriate artist, but. Um, I like where it's going. I really like that background, that was fun. I just, um, the secret to my success there was dropping in a lot of different colors and that kind of worked out for me didn't it I guess we'll know for sure when this all dries drop some of this same color up here so it's continuous with what I did here alright and we'll let that dry